Hello, sixth graders. Welcome to Big Ideas Math, section 6.3, Fractions and Decimals on the Number Line Lesson. Pause while you write section 6.3, Lesson, in your math notebook. Pause again while you write today's lesson objective in your math notebook. Today's objective is use a number line to compare rational numbers. Today we'll be starting on page 262 in your math textbook. In section 6.1, you learned that integers can be negative. Fractions and decimals can also be negative. We're going to graph each number and its opposite. So 3 fourths is graphed to the right. That's a positive 3 fourths on the right hand side of 0. And negative 3 fourths is graphed on the left hand side of 0. So negative 3 fourths is the same distance from 0 as 3 fourths is. However, it's the opposite direction. That's why they are called opposites. Negative 1.6. So we graph negative 1.6 to the left of 0, and 1.6 is the same distance from 0. It's on the opposite side. It's on the right hand side. Example 2. Comparing fractions and mixed numbers. Compare negative one-half and negative three-fourths. So if we look at negative one-half and negative three-fourths, negative one-half is to the right of negative three-fourths, so negative one-half is greater than negative three-fourths. And then we're going to compare negative four and five-sixths to negative 4 and 1 6. Negative 4 and 5 6 is right there, and negative 4 and 1 6 is over here to the right. Since negative 4 and 5 6 is to the left of negative 4 and 1 6, then negative 4 and 5 6 is less than negative 4 and 1 6.
Example 3, we're comparing decimals. Compare negative 3 and 8 hundredths to negative 3 and 8 tenths. Negative 3 and 8 hundredths is down here on the left, and negative 3 and 8 tenths is over here on the right. Since negative 3 and 8 hundredths is to the right of negative 3 and 8 tenths, then negative 3 and 8 hundredths is greater than negative 3 and 8 tenths. So always remember that the number to the right is greater than the number to the left. A real life application is what we're dealing with in example 4. A Chinook wind is a warm mountain wind that can cause rapid temperature changes. The table shows three of the greatest temperature drops ever recorded after a Chinook wind occurred. On which date did the temperature drop the fastest? And explain. So January 10th, 1911, there was a negative three and one-tenth degree Fahrenheit per minute temperature change. On, number, on November 10th, it was negative 5 eighths Fahrenheit per minute. On January 22nd, 1943, it was negative 2 and 1 fifth Fahrenheit per minute. So the graph shows us how Chinook winds happen, and that's good information but we are going to graph our numbers on a number line. So we have zero on the right because all of these numbers are negative. So negative 5 eighths is just to the left of negative 1 half, and then negative 2 and 1 fifth is all the way down past the negative 2. And then negative 3 and 1 tenth is down past the negative 3. So negative 3 and 1 tenth is far, farthest to the left. So the temperature dropped the fastest on ne January 10th, 1911. And we know that it was the fastest because that is the most negative number. So it's the greatest temperature change. change. It's the farthest away from zero. Your assignment for this lesson is to complete the On Your Own Problems 1 through 8 below. They are also found on pages 262 to 263 of your math textbook. Show your work and be prepared to share during our next class. Please remember, to earn credit for viewing this flipped lesson, you must complete your exit slip, come to our next class prepared with the journal pages or other work from the flipped lesson completed, and be prepared with any work that was assigned in the flipped lesson completed. Be prepared with any questions you have for the teacher and always have a good attitude. We'll see you next time in class.